God reveals to uh, himself to them as God who is Jehovah Shammah, meaning the Lord is present or the Lord is there. He says, I am the Lord that healed thee. I sent my word and healed uh, healed your disease. So there are some people who knew God as Jehovah Rapha, but they didn't know him as Jehovah Jireh because to them he revealed himself as Jehovah Rapha, the Lord that healed. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the time of the hour when you are listening, listening to me or watching this podcast. And I welcome you. This is Beholding Christ Show. My name is Ben Fetcher, and I am excited and blessed to be back, to be here with you. It's a blessing to know that you are blessed, you are whole, you are strong, and the Lord has kept you. And if in any case you are not well, maybe you are suffering from any sickness, through this podcast and through this broadcast, I speak healing over your body right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Paul says in the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 16, that I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. As we say, salvation is not just one thing. It is a whole package that includes your wholeness. It includes your forgiveness. It, is, it includes your prosperity. It includes your healing. Therefore, as the word of God goes forth, your healing has been made available. Your progress has been made available. Your prosperity has been made available in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, let us pray as we kick off this session in the name of Jesus. Father, we are so grateful this wonderful day. Thank you for giving us another moment to share in the word. Thank you for giving us another session, Lord. We take it all from you. It is not by might, it is not by power, but it is by your spirit. Thank you for the Beholding Christ show. Thank you for everyone who is watching me right now. I declare your favor upon their lives. I speak healing to every sick body. I speak deliverance, O oh Lord, to everyone that is in the bondage, the bondage of sickness, bondage of religion, bondage of uh, addictions, and every kind of bondage. As the word of God goes forth, I declare the power of God to minister to them. Every family that is watching, every individual that is watching, I declare the power of God to flow through the airwaves and to their places and to their lives right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, even for fluency as I speak your word. Let it come with power and confirmation of the spirit in the name of Jesus. Christ. Lord, I thank you and I honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Wherever you are, you can join me and say, Amen, Amen, Amen. So, today I would like us to talk about our Father, our God. Uh, it, is, it, is, uh, it is known that many people know God. Some people know God as a, a judge who is waiting for them to mess so that he can, uh, he can whip them, so that he can punish them. Others know him as a foreign God. Others don't even know who, who God is. But there is this wonderful revelation of God that I want us to experience today. And this will be a, a, a game changer even in your life. That This will change your story. When I discovered God in this perspective. My story changed. My testimony changed. Everything about me changed. I was sick. I got healed. I was living in, a, in, in, in defeat. But when I understood God in this perspective where we're going to see him today, my life as a whole was transformed. And I believe that by the end of this session, when you see God as he truly is, your life will never, never ever be the same again. So today I want to talk about God revealed as father. God is our father because God is many things to many different people. But the greatest revelation that man can ever have of God is knowing him as father. And I want us to take it up from the book of Hebrews, the book of Hebrews, Hebrews chapter one from verse one. And I want to read from the the Passion Translation, the book of Hebrews chapter 1 from verse 1. The Bible says that throughout our history, God has been speaking or God has spoken uh, to our ancestors by his prophets in many different ways. The revelation he gave them was only a fragment, a fragment at a time, building one truth upon another. Even before I proceed, I want, to, uh, faster, uh, I want us first to understand what the writer of Hebrews is telling us in verse 1, chapter 1 of Hebrews. He is telling us that in a time past or in the history that God used to speak to our fathers. He spoke to different people, our, the, the people we call the, the fathers in the faith. 
he spoke to Akina Abraham, Moses, he has spoken to Elijah, he has spoken to David, he has spoken to the people in the Old Testament. And the Bible tells us that, that he used to speak to them and he used to speak to them in diverse ways. The King James, let me read for you the King James, the New King James says, God, who at various times and in various ways spoke in time past to the fathers by the prophets. So he used to speak in various times and in various ways. He was revealing himself to different people at different times, at different occasions, uh, during different seasons. And they didn't have the fullness of God. They didn't have the totality of God. God never revealed himself in the Old Testament in his totality. He never revealed himself in his completeness. He never revealed himself in all that he is. But he used to reveal himself as the, trans, uh, the, the Passion Translation is saying. That he revealed himself in different ways. And he gave, the, uh, he gave them revelation that was a fragment a fragment at a time, building one truth upon another. So what was happening in the Old Testament is that the revelation of God to the people was a built up. He was building, him, uh, he, was, he was building, he was revealing himself in different bits. He did not reveal himself completely as he ought to, but he revealed himself in different instances uh, to different people in a different way. Praise be to God. That is what the, 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 the Passion Translation is saying, that only a fragment at a time. Uh, he revealed to, uh, to them, he revealed himself to them a different perspective at a time, a different revelation bit by bit, but not in his fullness. And I want, to, I want us to see how God revealed himself in the Old Testament and how people got to know God in the Old Testament. Then we will see how he has revealed himself in the New Testament. What I want you to understand is this, that in the Old Testament, they knew him in bits. They knew him in parts. They didn't know him in his fullness. That is why we see so many things that that, are, that look as if they're not aligning with the New Testament because these guys, they knew God in different ways. The, there is a way God revealed himself to Abraham. There is a way God revealed himself to Gideon. There is a way God revealed himself to, uh, to Samuel. There is a way God revealed himself to David in diverse manners, in diverse times. Uh, through the prophets. Praise be to God. And now there is the way God has revealed himself in the New Testament. And the greatest revelation of the, of the New Testament is that he has revealed himself as Father. Praise be to God. Through Jesus Christ, God has revealed himself in the New Testament as Father. And the earlier you know this, the better for you. Because you stop relating to God in uh, bits in uh, in different types of truths. You re uh, you relate with God in His totality, in His fullness. Hallelujah. So I want us to embark on a journey of uh, seeing how God revealed Himself in the Old Testament and uh, the different names that people uh, called God, because uh, or as a result of how He revealed Himself to them in the. In the book of Genesis, where it all begins, the book of beginnings, God revealed himself as God Elohim or Jehovah Elohim. Elohim means the, the creator God. It means the God who created. The Bible talks about creation from the book of Genesis chapter 1. It talks about creation in Genesis chapter 1 and Genesis chapter 2. It's all about creation. That is how God revealed himself. Elohim or El Shaddai, the almighty God. He revealed himself as the creator God. He, he created the heavens, he created the earth, he created everything that we can see, he created even the things that we cannot see. He revealed himself as the creator God. So that is one aspect of God. So someone may take that aspect of God and run with it as the creator God, but you'll not be running with the totality of God. God wants you to know him in his totality, in his completeness. Praise be to God. Then in the book of 2 Kings, chapter uh, 2 Kings, chapter 20, 2 Kings, I want us to run there. We are on a journey uh, trying to see how God revealed himself in the Old Testament to the old folks. In the book of 2 Kings, 2 Kings chapter number 20, God revealed himself as Jehovah Rapha. God revealed himself as Jehovah Rapha. Verse 5. Maybe I can read from verse 1. In those days, Hezekiah was sick and near death. 
And Isaiah, the prophet, the son of Amos, went to him and said to him, Thus says the Lord, set your house in order, for you shall die and not live. Then he turned his face toward the wall and prayed to the Lord, saying, Remember now, O Lord, I pray how I have walked before you in truth and with a loyal heart and have done what was good in your sight. And Hezekiah wept bitterly. And it happened before Isaiah had gone out in the middle court that the word of the Lord came to him, saying, uh, Return and tell Hezekiah, the, uh, the leader of my people, thus says the Lord, the God of David, your father. I have heard your prayers. I have seen your tears. Surely I will heal you. On the that day you shall go up to the house of the Lord, and I will add to you uh, to your days 15 years. Praise be to God. So the words there, the words of God, where he says, I have heard your prayers, I have seen your tears, and I will heal you. So the word used there is the word Rapha. The, the Hebrew word used there is the word Rapha. I will heal you. So God revealed himself to Hezekiah and to Isaiah the prophet at that instant as the God that healeth. Praise be to God. In the book of uh, in the book of Exodus 15 verse 26, he says, none of these diseases shall come to you because I will heal you. Again, he reveals himself to the children of Israel as God the healer, Jehovah Rapha. But the totality of God is not in Jehovah Rapha. So he revealed himself as as a God who heals. So the part of him that heals was made known to the children of Israel. It was made known to Hezekiah and it was also made known to, uh, to prophet Isaiah. If you go to Isaiah 30, 26, you'll see again he refers to himself as, the, as Jehovah Rapha. If you go to the book of Psalms 120 verse 7, he says, I am the Lord that healed thee. I sent my word and healed healed your disease. So he's, he calls himself Jehovah Rapha. So he revealed to him, he revealed himself at that instant as Jehovah Rapha. Praise be to God. And I, I don't want to say that even today he cannot reveal himself as Jehovah Rapha. He is the God that healed us. So even right now as you're seated where you're seated, where you're watching this telecast, I am here to tell you that even today God is revealing himself as Jehovah Rapha. But that is not his fullness. So wherever you are, he says that he has sent your word and healed our diseases. So receive your healing because he is the God that healeth. He is the God who is the creator. So he causes us, he gives us the ability also to create. And how do we create? In the same way he created. We saw that he revealed himself in Genesis as Elohim, the creator God. And now because he has uh, he has reproduced himself in us. We have also been made creators. And how did he create? He created using his word. The Bible says there was uh, the earth was full of darkness and God said, let there be. In the same way, because he has given us his life, the uh, the uh, the, the creation power he has given it to us. How we also create is by our own words. And how do we create? We create by speaking the word of God. So he revealed himself as Elohim. He revealed himself as Rapha, the law that healeth us. Praise be to God. The other way God revealed himself is as Jehovah Jireh. Hallelujah. So there are some people who knew God as Jehovah Rapha, but they didn't know him as Jehovah Jireh because to them he revealed himself as Jehovah Rapha, the Lord that healeth. Praise be to God. Then in the book of uh, Genesis chapter 2, Genesis chapter 2, Genesis chapter, not chapter 2, Genesis chapter 22, where God was talking to a guy, we call him the father of faith, who is Abraham. He, he, revealed to, uh, he revealed himself to Abraham as Jehovah uh, Jireh, the Lord, our provider. Look at what the Bible says in Genesis chapter 22, uh, verse number 14. Uh -huh. I read from verse 13. Then Abraham lifted his eyes and looked, and there behind him was a ram caught in the, a thicket by its horns. You remember this is the story where Abraham went with Isaac to offer a sacrifice. And Isaac at the point, Isaac told, Isaac told his father that we have the, we have the fire, we have, the, uh, we have everything, but we don't have the sacrifice. Where will the sacrifice come from? And Abraham told his son that God will provide for himself. Now, this is after God has provided in uh, verse 13, he says that he saw a ram 
caught in a thicket by its horns. So Abraham went and took the ram and offered it up for a burnt offering instead of his son. Then verse 14 is our key verse at this point. He says, and Abraham called the name of the place Yahweh Yireh or Jehovah Jireh, which means the Lord the provider. He has provided for himself in his own mountain. As, uh, as he says, as it is said to this day, in the mountain of the Lord, it shall be provided. So to Abraham, he revealed himself as Jehovah Jireh, the Lord, our provider. And even today to you, he is still Jehovah Jireh. He is our provider. It is him that provides for us. The Bible says that do not think that you are sufficient of yourself, but our sufficiency is of God. He is the Lord of our provision. Every area of life that you need provision, I declare that provision in Jesus' name. Be it in the area of your finances, I speak provision in Jesus' name. Awesome. Again, we see in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 15, verse number 4, the Bible says that, except when there may be no poor among you, for the Lord will greatly bless you in the land which the Lord your God is giving you to possess as an inheritance. Again, we see God revealing himself to the children of Israel. He revealed himself to Abraham as the provider. Again, he revealed himself to the children of Israel in the, De in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 15, verse number 4, as God the provider, Jehovah Jireh. Actually, they used to call him Yahweh Jireh. And that name Yahweh, Yahweh had no vowels. It was Y-H-W-H. I don't know how you can pronounce that. That was to show you how, how great God is, that you cannot explain him with your own words. Praise be to God. And he has been revealed to us in Christ also as God, our provider. Hallelujah. The other thing or the other name we see, the other name of God we see in the book of Ezekiel 48. God again revealed himself in the book of Ezekiel 48, verse number 35. God reveals himself as Jehovah Shammah. Jehovah Shammah, the book of Ezekiel chapter number 48, verse number 35. I will read, it says, all the way around shall be 18,000 cubits. Uh -huh. And the name of the city from that day shall be the Lord is there. You can go and read the context and know what the, the, the scripture was talking about or what the prophet was talking about. But the main verse there in verse 35, God reveals to uh, himself to them as God who is Jehovah Shammah, meaning the Lord is present or the Lord is there. This is when they were building the, uh, they were building the city of Jerusalem. Praise be to God. And it was, it, was, it was in relation to the, the city of Jerusalem. He was saying that God is present in the city of Jerusalem. Hallelujah. And that was the earthly Jerusalem. Now, the Bible talks about the heavenly Jerusalem. And he is also there. He is God, Jehovah Shammah. He is present. He is there. Praise be to God. He is present in your life. He is available. He is there in your life. He is not going to leave you because you have come. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews again, chapter 12, from verse number 21 all the way down. It talks about having come to Mount Zion, having come to the heavenly Jerusalem. And because you have come to the heavenly Jerusalem, as it was in the earthly Jerusalem when he revealed himself as Jehovah Shalom, uh, I mean Jehovah Shammah, the God that is there, even in your life, because you have come to the heavenly Jerusalem, God is is there. God is present. He says, I, he is an ever present help. Even in times of trouble, he is there for you. He is there for you. He says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. We also see him in the book of Exodus, again, the book of Exodus chapter number 17. Uh, Exodus chapter number 17, verse number 15. Exodus 17, verse number 15. 17, 15. The Bible says, God reveals himself as Jehovah Nisi. Jehovah Nisi means the Lord, our banner. Hallelujah. He is our victory. He is our everything. Praise be to God. He is our banner and we are rescued by him. Exodus 17, verse number 15. The Bible says, Mm -hmm. But he rebelled against him by sending his ambassadors to Egypt that they might give him horses and many people. Will he prosper? Will he who uh, does such things escape? Can he break a covenant and still be delivered? Verse 16, 
The Bible says, as I live, says the Lord God, surely in the place where the king dwells, who made him king, whose oath he despised, and, with, and whose covenant he broke, with him in the midst of Babylon he shall die. Verse 16 is talking about him revealing himself as God who rescues us, as God who delivers us. He is the Lord, our banner. He is our victory. Praise be to God. So all these people got to know God in different ways, in different perspectives, in different bits. And this truth was building up. It was building up time after time. It was building up. So God revealed himself to these guys in different ways. He revealed to them. He revealed himself to them in diverse manners at different times because of different occasions. At this point, because there, 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 there was suffering and there were attacks from the enemy, God rescued them and he revealed to them and himself to them as Jehovah, the Lord, our banner, or the Lord Jehovah Nisi, the Lord that rescues us. Even today, whatever you need to be rescued from, God is rescuing you from that thing because he is your Nisi. He is Jehovah Nisi. He is the Lord your banner. He is the one who gives you victory. He is giving you victory. Victory in every area of your life. Victory uh, from every kind of bondage. He is the Lord that gives you victory. Don't look unto men because men cannot deliver you. Men cannot rescue you. But God has rescued us. The Bible says in Colossians that he has rescued us. He has delivered us from the kingdom of darkness. And he has brought us into, into the kingdom of his dear son. That is a great, uh, a, a great deliverance. That is a great rescue mission. Hallelujah. He has rescued us. So he is Jehovah Nisi, the Lord our banner. He has given us victory. He has fought for us. Then in the book of Psalms 23, God reveals himself to this guy called David as Jehovah Rohi. Ah, other, other translations or other the other word for Rohi is the word Ra, R-A-A-H or R-O-O-I. Some people put an, a H in between O and and I. So they say Rohi, others say Roy, others say Ra. So God revealed himself to David as Jehovah Ra, the Lord our shepherd. Uh, that is why uh, this guy called David in Psalms 23 begins by saying the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even when, uh, my, uh, even when I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. He is there with me. So God revealed himself to David as the Lord who is our shepherd. And why did he reveal himself to David as a shepherd? Because David himself was a shepherd. And the best way God could show himself to David was revealing himself to David as a shepherd who takes good care of the sheep. I tell you this day that God is your shepherd. He takes good care of you. He watches over you. He cares for you. He is a loving God. He says that because God is your shepherd, you shall not want. He is the one who leads you in the, uh, beside the still waters. He is the one who leads you beside the, the green pastures. When he is your shepherd, he provides for you. When he is your shepherd, he takes care for you. Praise be to God. Maybe there are some people who have rejected you. They don't want to take care of you anymore. They don't care about your, uh, your whereabouts and your whereabouts. But God being your shepherd, he takes, care of, he takes good care of you. He feeds you. Jesus says in John, John chapter 10 verse 10 uh, from verse 10 going downward he says I am the good shepherd today this is the good news for you that you have a good shepherd God is your good shepherd Jesus is the good shepherd that David was talking about he revealed himself to David as the good shepherd and De uh, David called him Jehovah Rohi or Jehovah Ra praise be to God then in the book of Judges to Gideon he revealed to him uh, he revealed himself as Jehovah Shalom the Lord our peace we can see that in, Gen in the book of Judges, Judges chapter 6, the book of Judges chapter number 6. Uh, this is where God revealed himself to this guy called Gideon, Judges chapter number 6. I believe we are there from verse number 22, Judges 6 from verse 22. 
Uh -huh. The Bible says, I will read from verse 21, Then the angel of the Lord put out the end of the staff and that was in his hand and touched the meat and the unleavened bread and fire rose out of the rock and consumed the meat and the unleavened, unleavened bread. And the angel of the Lord departed out of his sight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now Gideon perceived... I mean, verse 22. Now Gideon perceived that he was the angel of the Lord. So Gideon said, Alas, O Lord God, for I have seen the angel of the Lord face to face. Then the Lord said to him, Peace be with you. Do not fear, you shall not die. So Gideon built an altar there to the Lord and called it, The Lord is peace. Or he called it, Yahweh Shalom. Or Jehovah Shalom. Because the Lord has given me peace. Praise be to God. So to Gideon, he revealed himself as Jehovah Shalom, the Lord, our peace. And even today to you, God is your peace. Praise be to God. The Bible says that he gives us a peace that surpasses all human understanding. There is a kind of peace that God gives, which is above all human understanding. Praise be to God. Then in the book of Genesis chapter 16, verse 13, Hagar calls him all. God reveals himself to Hagar as the Lord El Roy, Jehovah El Roy, the God who sees us. This is a time where Hagar was in the wilderness and he, uh, she didn't have water to feed her child. So he, uh, God revealed himself to Hagar as El Roy. Even today, God sees you. God watches over you. Praise be to God. And in Jeremiah 23, God revealed himself in Jeremiah 23, verse 5 to verse 6. He revealed himself as the Lord our righteousness. Maybe I will end up with that verse, Jeremiah 23. That is very important. Jeremiah 23, Jeremiah 23, verse number 5. Jeremiah 23, verse number 5. Uh -huh. This is where God revealed himself to Jeremiah. And he says from verse number 5, he says, Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, that I will praise I will raise to David a branch of righteousness. A king shall reign and prosper and execute judgment and righteousness in the earth. In his days, Judah will be saved. Now, this is a messianic prophecy from Jeremiah. He is talking about what God will do. He will raise a Dev, uh, to David a branch of righteousness. And this branch we know is Christ. And he says that a king shall reign and prosper. This is Jesus Christ. And execute judgment and righteousness in the earth. In his days, Judah will be saved and Israel will dwell safely. Now this is his name by which he will be called. Yahweh Tzidikenu, Jehovah Tzidikenu, uh, the Lord our righteousness. That is how God revealed himself uh, to Jeremiah all in, Je in the book of Jeremiah chapter 23. So what you've seen all through is that God revealed himself in diverse ways to different people in different uh, in different ways because of the occasions that were at hard. And to Jeremiah, he revealed himself as Jehovah Tzidikenu, the Lord, our righteousness. But all those different revelations, they are summed up in one. And we'll see it next in our next episode. So don't, uh, don't uh, move away. Don't, uh, don't uh, go away. Stay tuned to Emma TV. This is Beholding Christ Show. And I know you are blessed. We'll keep enjoying this and we will know what is this greater revelation that, than, uh, than Sidikenu, than Jaira, than Shama, than Shalom, than all these Ra, Rohi, all these revelations. What is the greatest revelation through which God has revealed himself? And this is only found in the New Testament. In the Old Testament, you never see it anywhere. But in the New Testament, you'll see it. So see you in our next episode. My name is Ben Fetcher. I call you blessed because indeed you are blessed. I pray for you in Jesus' name. The blessing of the Lord is upon you and you will experience Experience all these different revelations of God in your life. He is your provider. He is your peace. He is your righteousness. He is your all in all. In Jesus' name, we pray and we believe. Amen, amen. Stay tuned. You are blessed. Amen.